Hey guys, Warwick here. May the peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all on this amazing and wonderful day of our Lord. Amen. Um, so today I just wanted to share a message with you guys real quick. Um, something really amazing that the Lord is, uh, it's really small, seems really small and really simple, but when we really look into, you know, everything, everything small with God is big and everything big with God is small. So, you know, it's really amazing. So what it is, is Romans chapter 11, verse 36. It says that, uh, for all things are of him, through him and to him. And when we really start to, uh, that, that verse wasn't even really on my mind. And the Lord just revealed it to me and he showed me through the ministry of other brothers and sisters out there and, and just how God really works, you know, and that we truly are one body. We are in one spirit. Um, God has one purpose. He's not, he never contradicts himself, you know, and when you, just as an example, if we look at tithing, when you give, um, God moves your heart to give. You know, the Bible says that God loves a cheerful giver. He loves somebody who gives from their heart because they want to give. Not because they have to give, not because they feel obligated to give, but because they want to give. And the reason God loves that is because when you are doing it out of a cheerful heart, then it is God's will. It is God working through you to give. You open yourself up so that Jesus can work through you to give. And when He gives, God doesn't give to those outside of His will. God will open your heart to give um, to, to His people and to the ministries that need it. And, you know, this is really what's so amazing about it. When you wrap your head around it, it's, this is how God has... We know that God has an endless supply of everything. He has an endless supply of everything. And uh, I trust in God. God has provided for me many times when you know I, I had to travel and my tickets had been bought on uh, you know my, my friend who worked for the airlines I'm very blessed because I have friends that that uh, helped me to travel around the world um, um, and my friend's a pilot and he bought the ticket for me he paid for it he'd done everything and I didn't have the money I didn't have the money to pay him I didn't have the money to go on the, uh, the trip that I was meant to go on but it was God's will and I trusted God right up to, up until the last minute and um, and it just so happened that two days before the trip, he provided, and he provided in an amazing way. That's just one small testimony, uh, much more than what what was needed, or what was necessary. Um, and that was through a client, through a business that I was running at the time. And God is amazing, and everything is of Him. You know, even if we look at uh, John 3.16, where it says, where it says, um, you know, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe on Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Uh, God is the one that gave Jesus for us. So it's of Him. Our salvation comes through Jesus. So it's through God and we are reconciled to God. So everything is to God. And it's the same, you know, it doesn't matter what angle you look at it from. It's God is one and He is doing an amazing work all the time and everything is of Him, through Him and to Him. So it is God giving through Himself to Himself for His work and for His purpose. And I think it's something that's very important for us to begin to understand because when we see the big picture that it is God who is the beginning and God who is the end, we know that He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the first and the last. We start to really form an, a picture and an understanding of who our amazing Creator is. And just how wonderful he is you know our everlasting father our wonderful counselor prince of peace our lord and savior jesus christ hallelujah so it might seem small but it's something that was on my heart to share um i haven't brought a whole lot of scripture into it 
but that's okay. I prayed to the Lord and He led me this way, so this is how I will post it. This is how I'll put it out there. Um, it's also, you know, I, I didn't even want to record this video, to be honest with you. Um, I generally don't want to record videos um, because I don't like cameras, to be honest. I really don't like cameras. I don't like being on cameras. Anybody who knows me knows that I've, I've always been against social media. I've never liked it. Um, I really don't like selfies because it is quite contrary to God. Um, God's way is a selfless way and our way is selfish. It's all about self, self, self. And the reason the world is in the state that it's in is because of people being selfish. Um, so yeah, I... But God wants me to do it. And that's why I will pick up the camera and I'll hold it up to my face and I'll make these videos because the Lord has got a message that he wants to share it is of him and he is doing it through me and I serve him so it is through him and you I pray and I believe that most of you watching love God serve God with every ounce of your being with every part of your being with every molecule in your body with your whole heart, with your whole mind, with your whole soul, with all your strength, and that you love your neighbors as yourself. And if that is the case, and even if it's not the case, God might be changing your heart today. So it starts with God, it works through, through God, and through His people, it's His will being done, because we know that all things work together for good to them that uh, uh, love God to those that are called according to his purpose um, and we know that there's nothing that will separate us from the love of Christ so you know it could be somebody out there who's uh, um, who's not with God today but it's for God's purpose it's of him it starts with him it comes through me today and it's reaching you so I pray that this message is a blessing to somebody out there and I'm just gonna really quickly say a prayer I hope that this wind is not bothering you guys um, just going to close with a quick prayer father we just thank you for this amazing day that you've given us lord we thank you for the message that you bring to your people we thank you lord that you guide every step we thank you lord that everything is of you through you and to you we thank you lord that you are the one who provides in every way lord in every situation lord we pray that you touch the hearts of of uh, of all the people watching today lord i pray that you will just minister lord through your message this is what you have put on my heart to share lord minister through this message and set people free lord give them eyes to see and ears to hear and a heart to understand lord break them free set them free from the bondage and the chains that are holding them captive lord in this life and let them come to know the truth and to really know who they are in you lord that we are no longer orphans we are no longer slaves but we are now free men in Jesus Christ we are slaves to righteousness in you Lord and that we have been given uh, the privilege and, and the honor to be your children Lord. and you are the king if you are the king and we are your children even by adoption Lord then that means that we are heirs indeed we are co-heirs with Christ. We are princes and we are princesses. It says in the Bible that we will judge the angels by your side. Those who are overcomers. Those who are with you, Lord. Who follow you. Who love you by keeping your commandments. And are led by you, Lord. I pray that today you will break the strongholds in the lives of those who are struggling to lay down their flesh. And to seek after you with all of their hearts, Lord. To submit to you. Let us stop trying and completely submit and we will see your abundant grace and mercy and the glory of God in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Hallelujah. Thank you. All right, guys. Um, video is a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but God's will be done. Uh, God bless you all. And um, yeah, I will hopefully chat to you soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.